Hi everyone, I'm Rose and I'm from Minerva. Today's video is a fabric showcase on suited materials. Now, even though they come under the category of suited materials, it doesn't mean that all you need to use them for are suits. You can use them for a wide range of projects and as we go along, I recommend some patterns for you to use them for. So let's get started with the first one. The first fabric we have here is the 100% responsible wool fabric. Now because it's made from wool, it has, has this really nice soft and cosy texture. So for things like jackets and coats, this is, this is perfect for it. It does have a slight stretch, only a small bounce to it. So it's just something you need to be aware about if you are sewing a garment that needs a little bit more structure. This fabric we have here is a very gorgeous and luxurious fabric. It's made from 100% wool and it's non-stretch and it's called the super fine wool fabric. I'll show you a quick close up at the weave so that you can see why it's got that name super fine. It's a stiffer material with good structure so if you're using a pattern that say needs darts or welts or cuffs then this fabric will hold them really well. Because it is wool, you will need to be careful when washing or ironing it to make sure that it doesn't shrink. I would use this fabric for the Burda 7046 pattern, but if you are unfamiliar with certain aspects of that pattern, then I suggest trying them out first on say a calico or a twill, just to get some practice in with them first. Don't forget to pre-wash all your fabric first. This will help wash out any excess dye and will reduce the shrinkage of your materials. Make sure you set your machines correctly for each fabric and that you have suitable needles for your stretch or non-stretch fabrics. Any questions or queries, please feel free to mention them in the comments section below. Here we have the waterfall twill fabric. It's a stretch fabric and it's got a 10% stretch along the width. It's made from 70% polyester, 25% viscose and 5% spandex. It's a medium weight fabric and has a crisper feel to it, as, as you can see here. I would use this more for, say, trousers rather than shirts because it is a slightly thicker material. Compared to the last fabric, this is a much more lightweight material. It's also quite a bit softer in drape. You could use this for the pattern Vogue 9029, uh, which is a shirt pattern, but it does have more of a stretch than the last uh, fabric. It's got a 20% stretch along the width and a 10% along the length. It's made from 78% polyester, 18% viscose and a 4% elastane. This here is a Chambray number no. 5 fabric. It's made from 100% polyester, it's non-stretch and it is classed as medium weight. Compared to some of the other fabrics we have, this has a much more rougher texture to it. So if you're making things like jackets or trousers, I do suggest putting a lining inside. The weave of the fabric is quite visible, um, which gives it this lovely texture. It does fray, so when you're making your garment, make sure that you do finish your seams. When I look at this material, I'm reminded of the 1950s and 1960s tailored female suits. It has this lovely open large weave which gives it an almost soft boucle appearance. It's made from 70% polyester and 30% cotton and you can really feel the cotton in there. I would use this for vintage patterns, say perhaps a Vogue 8146 and I would put a contrasting piping on the pockets and uh, the edges of the jacket and perhaps some big buttons to really give it that uh, vintage look.
The coastline fabric is made from 100% polyester. It does have a tighter weave than the last fabric I showed you. It's also a little bit more lightweight and crisper in texture. It does have a slight sheen, so I would use this with patterns that say have a ruffle or um, other elements because it will pick up the, the light really well. It's made from 100% polyester. I have it here in one. It's a medium weight fabric and the feel of it is very, very crisp. Um, so if you're doing something with say darts or uh, welts, then this fabric would work well for that. Any fabric that you get in the cationic by stretch uh, fabric will have this um, slight two-tone appearance to it. For example, this wine has a almost dappled black running through the material. This is a soft twill fabric made from 96% polyester and 4% spandex. As you can see, compared to some of the other materials we have here, this is a much more lightweight and drapey material. I would use this for, say, the new look 6344, which is a top pattern. And if you do have any patterns that have, say, a yoke or pockets, you could definitely add a contrast in fabric uh, with this one to make a very unique top. The heavy stretch woven fabric is made from 75% polyester, 22% viscose and 3% spandex. It does have a nice amount of stretch to it, uh, it's 10% along the width. It's a very soft material um, and is rather drapey for, um, a suiter for a strong suiter material. So if you are doing something with say darts or um, welts, and I do suggest making sure that you press really well perhaps using a, a block to um, hit down the seams to make sure that they really lie flat. The soft stretch woven wool touch material is made from 62% polyester, 32% viscose and 6% spandex. So it's got 3% more spandex than the last material I've just showed you and you can tell it has by the, by the amount of stretch that the material gives. It's called wool touch for a reason because it does feel like wool and is really soft. I wouldn't necessarily line this material um, because you can keep that lightweight appearance to it and because it's really soft it, it, it's nice against your skin. Don't forget that all the links to the fabrics and patterns can be found in the description box. And why not join the Minerva Craft Club? When you do, you'll receive a 10% discount that you can use for 12 months when you sign up. The brand new Minerva website is a wonderful online platform dedicated to makers and sewers that allows you to share your latest projects in a new interactive way. You can post photos and videos of your own makes, but also like and comment on other makers' posts, follow them and find out all about the fabric and patterns that they use. The Alona stretch woven fabric is made from 90% polyester and 10% spandex. So it's quite a high amount of spandex uh, in this material. And you can tell when you do pull it really tight, you can see the amount of stretch that this material gives. It's 15% stretch along, along the width and it is classed as a medium weight fabric. Here we have another stretch uh, wool touch material. It's a very soft material. Again, you know, being wool touch, it's, it's uh, supposed to resemble wool as much as possible, but it's perhaps not as strong as say the super fine wool that I showed you earlier. earlier. It's made from 80% polyester, 15% viscose and 5% lycra. And that lycra content really does give it, you know, a nice subtle stretch there. The stretch width and length is 10%. I would use this for say um, trousers and um, skirts because it is a medium weight fabric it will lend itself well to that 
If you were going to use it for more stretchier garments, I would suggest putting a suitable interface in behind just to make sure that it does keep that stretcher. The stretch woven self-lined fabric is a smooth flat back. Because it is self-lined, you don't necessarily need to line your projects. If you are making a garment, what might be an interesting touch though is to bind your seam finishes with a contrast bias binding. This will add a unique couture element. It's a medium weight fabric and it's incredibly soft and drapey. It's reminiscent of a satin and uh, as you can see it picks up the light really well and gives this wonderful silky appearance. It's made from a polyester viscose and spandex mix and it's got a 10% stretch along the width. If I was sewn with this material I would stick to patterns with simple clean lines, nothing fancy, nothing like collars or pockets and just let the fabric do the talking. Uh, patterns such as the New Look 6125 would work really well with this one. When sewing this material make sure that you pin your pieces together really well and get the right tension for your machine. Because it is very reminiscent of satin it is quite slippery. Simplicity 8554 pattern uh, would work really well in this particular material. It's made from 100% polyester, it's woven and it's non-stretch. I suggest putting maybe a lining uh, to the garments that you make uh, if it's going to go against your skin because it's slightly more rougher in texture than say some of the other lightweight and medium weight fabrics. Here we have the Linen Look fabric, it's made from 100% polyester. Even though it is made from polyester, it really does feel and look like linen. It has a lovely large weave which gives it this wonderful texture. I'll show you a quick close up. It's a non-stretch lightweight material, so I would use this for things that were going to be worn in the summer, such as light jackets, uh, trousers and skirts. The Simplicity 8962 is a suit jacket pattern perfect for linen type, wool and twill fabric. It's a stylish pattern and something that you could make repeatedly in a range of fabrics and colours. If you're looking to make a truly unique jacket, then make this pattern in this fabric in one of the bright and bold colours. A beautiful material is the Dynasty fabric I've got here. This here is in dark teal. It's made from 89% polyester and 11% spandex. So it's quite a high percentage of spandex in this material, but it does give it a really nice strong stretch. Trouser pattern New Look 6438 will be a perfect match for this fabric as it has a loose fitting and wide leg style. It also has a top and cardigan pattern that you could pair with a matching fabric from this collection. It's also a perfect pattern for beginners. The heavy Burlington fabric is more suited towards garments that require structure, such as fitted dresses and tailored jackets. The plain Burlington fabric is less heavy and would suit garments and projects that don't need as much support. This fabric could also serve as a lining for bags or would work really well for home furnishings such as applique cushions and quilting. This is a plain Burlington suiting fabric. It's non-stretch, uh, non-woven, exactly like the heavy Burlington fabric in feel and texture. However, it's slightly more lightweight. So if you were going to use this for, um, you know, your suits and your structured garments, and I do suggest putting a, uh, a suitable interface in just to make sure that it keeps that structure. The Quick Sew 0231 is a panelled cushion pattern that you could use these Burlington fabrics for. Choose different colours or paired with a patterned fabric to make a unique set of cushions just for you. The Carmel Suiter material is made from 100% polyester. It's a non-stretch material and is woven. I have it here in chocolate and through the warp and weft weave of the material there are these lighter threads so it looks textured but it's not. It's really quite a smooth material.
if you're using this material for say tailored jackets or tailored garments I would suggest putting a suitable interface in on the on the reverse just to make sure that it keeps that structure but for trousers and skirts or garments with a little bit of drape this would work really well This here is the 100% polyester suitor material. It's a woven material and it's non-stretch. As a basic material, this is a marvellous choice. Because there is a wide range of colours available, patterns such as the McCall's 7908 would be a fine pairing with this fabric. Choose different colours for different panels of this pattern to make a different and boldly designed garment. It has a crisper feel to it than say some of the other materials um, so it will hold darts and elements really quite well. Here we have the Charlie stretch woven material. It's made from 89% polyester and 11% spandex. So it's quite a high percentage of spandex again so you do have that really strong stretch there. It catches the light really well, so think of uh, garments that will have a bit of movement, you know, um, perhaps maybe a circle skirt, this would work extremely well with this. It's a very soft material and you wouldn't necessarily need to line it. This is another stretch woven material, but this particular one is made from 33% rayon, 63% polyester and 4% spandex. It's a woven material. It's uh, got a stretch width of 10% and a stretch length of 10%. As you can see, there's a slight give there. I have it here in navy and it really is a beautiful deep blue colour. It's rather matte in appearance, so it doesn't have that much of a shine. And the feel of it is almost, almost velvety. The material doesn't fray that well, so um, for your seam finishes you could get away with pink and shears or maybe just a simple zigzag stitch. The Lady McElroy Sydney material is classed as a four-way stretch fabric. This means that the fabric will stretch along both the width and the length at the same time. It has a great recovery, which means it bounces back into shape easily. However, when sewing this material you must be careful not to stretch it as you sew it. If you do, this will result in bumpy or wavy seams, so pin as much as possible and use a needle in your machine suitable for stretch materials. It's not as stretchy as, say, the material we had, which was 11% spandex, but it still does have that nice give and flow to it. It's a thicker feel material, um, and even though it is, it is medium weight, it still carries this wonderful drape. And as you can see here, it picks up the light, even though it's still quite matte in appearance. So you get these beautiful colours, this here is called the Kiwi, and you can see those colours down here which catch the light, but you also get round here in the darker area, the olive. So for garments that say have a little bit of movement, something that's a little, um, say like a ruffle, this material will work really quite well for that. The new look 6511 pattern has a slightly gathered design to this top. In this fabric, this style of garment will show off that shimmery quality of this material. So that's it for this video on suitor materials. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Any questions or comments you have, please do pop them in the comment section below. And we'd love to see what you make with this range of fabrics. So if you make anything, please do share them with us. We'd love to see them. Forget you can save products, posts, and hashtags to your Minerva account in your favourites. For example, you could save this video and follow Minerva for more videos. You'll find the follow button just above this video next to where it says Minerva. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.